So Dan Crenshaw is back in the news, even though nobody cares uh, about him or what he's doing. Uh, Mediaite says that he asked Fox News viewers to fund his over-the-top action movie style campaign ad sequel. So this is a thing that he's done now a number of times. He did one for uh, the election in Georgia, and then he did one for something in Texas. Uh, I want to go ahead and show you the kind of ads that he does, and then we'll talk about what exactly he's doing here. Watch. The American story is one of true exceptionalism. It's built on the greatest ideas in history. This victory tonight, it's about you. It's about defining those. Sorry, folks. I'll be right back. What do we got? Well, it's not over in Georgia. The Senate races went to a runoff. What are we up against? You'll never believe this. Far-left activists are attempting to gain full and total control of the U.S. government. That we secure a, a Democratic Senate majority so that we don't have to negotiate in that way. Should these Senate seats be lost, all will be lost. You supported the Green New Deal. You supported Medicare for all. <laughs> Your mission will be to rally support across Georgia behind these American patriots, Senator Perdue and Senator Leffler. They must win. What's our situation on the ground? We have two patriots down there, Senator Loeffler and Senator Perdue. Great fighters with a great message. They just need a little backup. Last question, what do you want to bring? Bring everyone. What's the situation at the LZ? Good evening, sir. Rather lovely form, if I may say so. But we do have a small problem at the landing zone. So-called anti-fascists, an ironic term given their propensity to, well, act like fascists, are patrolling the area. Recommend we shift north three kilometers. How does that sound? Negative. I want to say hello to the greeting party. What's the bearing? Always one for a bit of drama. 90 degrees from your current heading. Be well, sir. Man, where is this guy? Yeah, dude, it's gonna be dark soon. Where is that pirate? All oh, right. I don't even know why I'm so angry, you know? Oh, the news told us to be. <sighs> so I remember covering a story very recently, actually, within the past month. Uh, Dan Crenshaw took a shot at Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates and uh, Lauren Boebert and some of the more loud aggressive right-wingers who seem to be getting more press than him. And he tried to make the point that, like, these people are rhinos. They're Republicans in name only. You know who actually votes with Trump the most? Me and, like, Adam Kinzinger. And you wouldn't know it from the reaction of the base, but that's the reality. So, like, these guys are just charlatans. They just want the spotlight. That's the only reason they're doing it. They're not really committed to the ideology or anything, bro. And what did I say in that segment? I said, look... I hate all the people he mentioned, and I hate him too, by the way, but understand something. He wants the spotlight too, and he's just jealous that they're getting more of it. And so he did this, this goofy-ass ad. By the way, how'd that work out? This was about the Georgia election with Purdue and, and Leffler versus Ossoff and uh, Warnock. And Ossoff and Warnock, Drax them clounced. They won. They won. So how'd that work out? But he did it with, he did this one, he did another one with Texas, just goofy Avenger style, like, look at me, daddy and mommy, I'm a superhero. I mean, he's doing the functional equivalent of like a five-year-old walking around the house wearing the little Batman uh, costume or Superman costume. And look, it's adorable when a five-year-old does it. It's not adorable when you're a grown-ass man and you're in Congress. And look, this is what he really cares about. He, he wants me, the spotlight on me, don't you love me? Please let me be president one day. Please, Republican base, love me and accept me. Why are you snuggling up to Marjorie Taylor Greene instead of me? What about me? <laughs> so this is, this guy, in his heart of hearts, he just wants to be famous. He just wants to be like an action hero. He just wants to be looked at as like a cool badass. And he falls way short. And so he does these goofy ads. And then the most egregious part, of course, is you're trying to... Raise money from small donors for this shit? Look, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm too soft-hearted here, but I feel bad for those, whatever the Republican, uh, 
uh, viewers, the, the old right-wing viewers who are watching Fox News and who are getting pitched this, I feel bad for any grandma who's going and giving some of her social security check to this asshole to make a shitty ad, which is incredibly cringe. And again, maybe I'm wrong. Some people would say, oh, you know, they're suckers anyway, so they're marks and this was going to happen no matter what. But it shouldn't be the case, man. It shouldn't be the case. Crowdfunding for to to stroke your own ego with a shitty cringe ass adventure Avenger style ad, like just be honest with yourself. This is what you really care about. This guy, look, he is his voting record is right wing. He is, he believes in that stuff. I, I really do think that about Dan Crenshaw, but he's wrong about like all of it, and ultimately that's secondary to his own narcissism, self-aggrandizement. Look, if I was a politician, never in a million years would I do an ad like that. Why? Because I actually care about the issues and about working people. And so it, my ads would be all substantive. I'd be like, listen, vote for me. I'm going to do everything I can to legalize marijuana. I'm going to do everything I can to raise the minimum wage to a living wage. I'm going to do everything I can to have the PRO Act, which is pro-union legislation, which will help working people all across this country, maybe even more than a living wage. I'm going to uh, end the wars. I'm going to do universal health care. I'm going to do free college. I'm going to abolish student loan debt. I will do every single thing in my power that I possibly can in whatever position it may be, Congress, Senate, President, whatever, to get these things done. I'm not running for me. I'm running to be a voice for you. I'm just a medium for what the American people want. We live in what's supposed to be a constitutional republic and a representative democracy. You know what that means? On all the issues that are constitutional, those are off the table. Nobody's coming to take away your rights. Nobody's coming to take away your free speech. That's set in stone. That's the whole idea. But on everything that's not a constitutional issue, your voice needs to be the deciding factor. You are your own boss. That's the whole point of a representative democracy. So I'm not running for me. I'm running to be a voice for you. That's what I would say. That's what I would talk about because that matters. Doesn't you stroking your own ego and pretending to be a superhero doesn't matter. It just exposes you for what you are. Jesus Christ. What a charlatan. Imagine of all the of all the things to raise to give money to, of all the causes. Let me act out my childish superhero fantasies again, please. By the way, I fact of the matter is, yeah, He's right that Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert and Matt Gates, those people do have the heart of the base much more. They do. And you know what? I'm actually kind of happy about that. Because at least when they do it, it's not nearly as desperate. You get the idea that, like, Marjorie Taylor Greene is just sort of dumb. And she's just sort of loud. Loud and dumb. Loud and dumb and saying things that a certain percentage of the population wants to hear, and it's the craziest portion of the population, but... There's something more genuine about that than there is about this douchebag. And so, in a way, I'm happy that he's secretly fuming at night every time he puts his head down on his pillow because he wants that acceptance so much, uh, but he's done nothing to earn it. And so you get weird manifestations of that, like this kind of ad. Ever since Adpocalypse, when YouTube defunded all independent news and politics overnight, we haven't trusted them. We know they can pull the rug out from underneath us at any time. If you enjoy this content, please consider tipping a dollar or two per month on the Secular Talk Patreon. Link in the video description box below. Thanks for your support.